Hope everybody's uh, doing well. Um, great week uh, ahead of us and, and uh, excited about uh, the challenge that's coming to town. And, and uh, it's going to be a great environment, uh, one that our, our entire program is excited about. Uh, you know, said it earlier today, the uh, most important thing for us is, is controlling our preparation and, and uh, that taking us to kickoff. And you guys had a good Monday, and they'll be back this evening. But uh, looking forward to the entire week. Open it up. Josh, you guys had success with that option look uh, on offense. Was there anything you saw defensively that led you to believe you could have success with that play? Yeah, just you know, week to week, we're going to change offensively based on what we're seeing structurally from the other side of the football. And it was an opportunity for us to get the ball out on the perimeter. And, and uh, Hendon uh, did a really nice job of operating in it. Uh, you know, the two times that we ran it, and Dylan did as well. You know, sort of how this uh, Florida series has been: different coaches, different players. Florida still still owned it. Do you feel like there's any sort of psychological hurdle that your players have to get over? Do they inherit that? I, I don't believe that. You know, uh, each week is different. Uh, each day is different. Each season is. Uh, for us, you know, we're however many months into our program right here, right now. And, you know, our kids are extremely confident, as they should be. Uh, they prepare the right way. They work hard. Uh, we've continued to grow. Um, they know that the preparation is going to be the most important thing. It's going to be a great atmosphere. Um, you know, we got to be able to control our emotions during the course of the football game, um, but compete and, and uh, not go up and down during the course of the game. Josh, you're new to Oklahoma. Obviously, you were very well aware that Texas and Oklahoma State were a little bit different than all the others. After you took this job, how long did it take for somebody said to you, Florida's a little different? Uh, probably, you know, 30 seconds after I arrived here on, on campus. You know, uh, this is one of the, the ball games that this fan base and, and our players point to, too. And, and uh, obviously, being a fan of college football, you know, I've seen the great games and, and the rivalry itself play out. And uh, that's why you come here. You want to be a part of, of these types of games. You want to have an opportunity to, you know, have college game day on your campus and be the primetime slot and have a sold out stadium, you know, and, and uh, we're excited to see uh, the fan base and, and uh, Vol Walk I know will be electric and, and when we run out that tee, there won't be a better atmosphere in college football. Coach, I don't, I don't know if you can answer that, but kind of piggy this, but piggybacking on, on that a little bit, sold out stadium, primetime game day is going to be here. You're ranked on the cusp of the top 10. Did you have a timeline for when you thought <laughs> this program could get to, to where I it's going to be on one, Saturday? I think that's one of the things that our, our players um, that help create buy-in with our players is that we've never set a ceiling on what we could or could not do. Um, uh, last year, this was a, a, a ball game that helped in the turning point uh, inside of our program. Obviously, we didn't come out on top. There's a lot of things that we didn't do right. But resetting afterwards, that Monday, where we came back in and we're just able to show how everything unfolded and the things that we controlled, I think created a ton of buy-in too. Um, you know, at the end of the day, this is you know the fourth game of, of this journey this year. Um, it's a big one because this is the only one we got this week. Um, our kids will be ready, and our staff will too. I know it's early in the week, but what have you seen from Anthony Richardson? The challenges that he presents for their offense? Yeah, I'm, first of all, he can throw the football. Uh, he can do that on the move. He can do it from in, inside the pocket. Uh, he's big, physical, imposing. Um, you have to bottle him up in the, in the quarterback run game. Uh, at the same time, um, you know, as you're trying to apply pressure when they're dropping back and throw it, uh, he's got the ability to, to make you pay if you don't have rush integrity inside your, your pass rush lanes. And we've done a better job this year than we did a year ago, but that's going to be a critical part of the football game. Uh, Jeff, when you, when you talk about not putting a ceiling on what you guys could do very quickly, when did you get a sense that the players in the program really believed that? Yeah, um, <clears throat> you know, I, I thought in year one we continued to grow in each phase. Uh, there was always, uh, as there always is in year one, uh, skepticism or not understanding what's going to come next. You know, when you go from, you know, January and February strength and conditioning into spring ball, um, into the summer, into the, into the season. There's always some unknowns there. Um, I think for us as a program, there were a couple of turning points. I, I said the Florida game uh, last year was a big turning point for us. The way we played and competed when we went to Kentucky uh, continued to create that buy-in. Uh, but I think our players started to see that you know it was about us and it was about our preparation. And we continued to grow. We became more mature. Our practice habits changed. And uh, we started playing better football. 
Coach, I know you're, you're not going to offer up injury updates today on those guys, but with veteran – Where's Wes at? Where's Wes? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Was he supposed to ask that question? I, he already put my comments out there, so <laughs> he, he had direct quotes. Um, I'm joking. With, with, with veteran guys, is it a situation where you, you would be more comfortable if – later in the week, if they missed a lot of time because they're veteran guys, that, that you would be more comfortable with them late in the week, not getting as much normal preparation? Yeah, for sure. Guys that have played a bunch of football, uh, that understand what we're doing defensively or offensively, um, you know, do you ever want them to not get the physical reps? No, you prefer to have the physical reps. At the same time, um, those guys, guys are mature enough to typically put themselves in a position to operate and function and play at a really high level with the limited amount of, of practice reps during the course of the week. Back here, Coach. Um, what aspects of Hendon's game remind you of yourself from your playing days, if any? <laughs> he's a lot more athletic than uh, than I was back in the day. Uh, I, I think uh, how he's grown in, in his preparation, what he does off the field, and, and uh, his ability to reset when he's on the field. One play does not affect the next. I think those are, are a couple of things that uh, I would hope remind me of, my, of myself. Ryan, here, and Once you had a chance to go look at the tape, just how did you assess Juwan's performance? Yeah, I, I thought he played uh, played really well. Um, you know, in his opportunities, uh, he was dialed in. Um, no really mental lapses uh, during the course of it. Communicated extremely well. Josh, two questions. Uh, one, do you have an injury update on those guys? Uh, you can talk to Wes. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, nah, today's Monday. You know, we don't do much uh, on the field. And, and uh, so we'll see as we get on the grass here in the next couple of days. Yeah, second question. Um, you know, rivalry game, game day in town. Do you, do you have a sense for how this group handles or responds to, to pressure situations? Yeah, I, I do. I think that's part of you know, you're going to hear the outside noise and, and the energy and excitement. Our kids should be excited about what the environment is going to be on Saturday. Your preparation um, leads yourself to being ready to play. Competitive composure will be big uh, in, in this one. And, and uh, at times, we've done a really good job of that. Obviously, there's some things the other night that uh, I did not like. Um, it's going to be important for us all, you know, the 11 guys on the field and everybody on the sidelines, too, to, to be able to compete and have the right frame of mind for 60 minutes. Josh, Jalen didn't fumble on Saturday, first time this season. Just how have say you? One more time. Jalen Wright did not fumble on Saturday after fumbling in the first two games. Just how have you seen him develop? through each game this season after uh, being limited throughout fall camp? Yeah, I thought he had his most action, most carries um, you know, from, from the course of the season. Um, thought he handled himself uh, well, um, you know, vision, taking care of the football. Um, a lot of positive protection, too. Josh, you talked about Anthony Richardson from Florida on offense, but what do you see from the Gators defense you'll be going up against? Yeah, um, highly skilled. You know, that's your front four, um, being able to apply pressure and, and disrupt your run game. Um, you know, the secondary is you know, long and athletic, like you would anticipate them to be in. And so there's, uh, you know, schematic battles uh, that will be fought on, on Saturday afternoon. But then there's, you know, one-on-one -on -one battles that are going to have to be won by our players out on the field, too. Last two games, you've had almost, I guess, 180 yards and penalties, almost 200 yards and penalties. When you look at that, what do you got to do to clean it up? What, what are you, what are you seeing, particularly on the offensive side of the ball, with some of the, the self-inflicted penalties that you've had? Yeah, self-inflicted in, in all three phases uh, of the game in the last couple of weeks. We got to play cleaner in this one. The hidden yardage will will matter. Uh, it changes the way you know third and fourth downs are, are played. Uh, Pre-snap penalties, you can't have them. Um, you know, we can't have a penalty on, on special teams when the, the ball's, you know, exchanging sides. And, and uh, you know, as much as anything, we got to play smart and be composed like I was talking about earlier. Coach, you had some other receivers kind of step up and make some plays. Ramel, I think Squall had a catch early in the game. Uh, Walker again. What, What's your confidence level in some of the rest of that group beyond the three starters? Yeah, we, we feel really good about all of those guys. You know, Squirrel goes out there and makes a huge play down the sideline. Uh, early in the football game, Ramel's made plays every time he's had an opportunity this year and last year. And, um, you know, Walker uh, continues to grow and has competed in a really good way. So we feel really good about all those guys. 
Josh over here with uh, Gerald Mincy. Just what, what, what have you seen from him the first three games, and then with him going against his former team this week? Do you say anything to him about that, or how do you think he'll handle that situation? I joked with him a little bit uh, today. You know, he gets a chance to go compete against uh, a few guys that he's got a pretty good understanding of who they are and what they're about. Um, give a little scout report this evening on on the, the front. Um, he, he's played really well. Um, I think he's continuing to get better and more comfortable in what we're doing. Uh, he's executed really well in the pass game. Uh, pass protection uh, continues to get better in, in the run game, too. And I expect him to have a, a big ball game on Saturday. Other questions? Okay. All right. Thank you. Guys, have a great one. Ending in here short. Thanks. See you guys.